So this is D3D FFE Direct 3D. So this is uh, this is a version of Frontier First Encounters, which has been completely graphically remade. Uh, uh, the engine, I mean. Um, and as you can see, some of the models have even been changed, like these asteroids that are kind of smoothed out. Um, yeah, some of the ships have been changed. You can see the planet has been altered. Um, yeah, and this is probably the most nice looking version of Frontier of any version that you can play. Uh, it doesn't have some of the graphical glitches that the uh, GL Frontier version does. Um, but it is a bit buggy, as you can expect from uh, a mod of such an old game. And uh, yeah, let's just uh, get out of this intro and uh, take a look at the... Yeah, uh, it runs a bit slow, even on my system, which is not an insignificant um, system. It's not super great, but... Yeah, this is not going to be the West optimized game. So let's uh, let's get into it. And as you can see, this looks quite a bit uh, snazzy, even more snazzy. Uh, you can see the Saker Mark III has got some some smoothing done on it, uh, but otherwise it is just the same game with a graphical uh, facelift. Let's take a look at some of these ships. See that boa looks just just the same. Uh, the Mantis looks the same. Yeah, some of them haven't been uh, haven't been changed. Uh, that looks different. That looks very different. Look at that. That looks like a some kind of skiing. This looks, looks like some kind of water skiing thing or something. Um, so yeah, this is uh, it's got, oh look, even the lifter's got a lift uh, a facelift. <laughs> it's got a fa <laughs> yeah. Um, those bo I guess it's just the cargo pods that look different, really. Um, yeah. It's I like this ship, the Imperial Explorer. Um, it's slow, but it's but it's big. It's it's the Imperial answer to the Path Clipper, really. Um, yeah, there's not too much to say about this version, other than that it's uh, it's it's quite quite a nice uh, departure from from what we're used to. Uh, but it is really quite uh, poor in performance. But that is nice. Look at that. You can see a nice star. Um, and you know, there's some nice lighting effects. It's okay. It's not, you know. I mean, the thing is, the higher resolution and the higher model quality just kind of makes it look. And look at the, the nasty, like, uh, uh, these nasty lines across the the landscape. But you know, it's it's pretty damn damn incredible that they managed to do this with this old game. Yeah, you can actually get a look at the like the actual contouring of the I'm gonna die soon. What? Who told me I'm gonna die soon? That's weird. <laughs> I don't remember seeing that before. I'm scared. <laughs> um Okay. I don't know what that's all about. But um yeah. You do get this contouring in the original, it's just a, it's a bit more noticeable in this version, I guess. And look, a nice cloud cover layer. That's cool. Yeah. Um, so if you don't mind it running like arse... Um, and let's take a look at... Uh, take another look at Seattle, because that was quite a cool thing to see. Uh, that gas giant. I want to see a gas giant in this version. I haven't really played this one much, because it does tank the frame rate quite badly. Um, and it's kind of getting away from the from the original in many ways. Uh, okay, I don't want to actually dock, but yeah, look, this is this is this is a problem. Um, oh, some nice uh, uh, sound of the atmosphere here. It's kind of cool. And look, there we can see the, uh, the colony there. I'm just going to speed up time a bit and get a good look at this gas giant. Uh, it seems like it's actually rising out of the planet. That's weird. Um, somebody keeps telling me I'm going to die soon. It's not nice. Oh, maybe it's because of my undercarriage. Yeah, look, that's, that's kind of cool. I kind of like that. Um... It's not Elite Dangerous, 
but um, maybe it's elite competent. <laughs> uh, yeah, so hats off to uh, the people who created this because it's really quite impressive. So there's a couple of uh, websites I should mention which have been very useful in making this series and in playing the game over the years. Uh, one of these is Frontierverse at uh, sharoma.com slash Frontierverse. It's got a lot of information and guides about the game uh, into these categories. You can find out stuff about your content, uh, your combat rating. There's a list of all... Yeah, this is, this is quite useful. It tells you how many kills and things you need to actually get up to uh, different levels. Uh, there's a lot of technical information. This is a listing of all the equipment and what it does. Um, yeah, stuff about your legal status. The, there's lots of points and, and, and there's lists of things. It's very... This is all in the data. This is very useful. Um, yeah, machinery used to a uh, farm. <laughs> um, and yeah, th this was this was this part here was very useful in putting together the um, the ship guides uh, section. So I must thank the author of this website for uh, putting this together. Uh, wormholes. This is this is cheats. Uh, you sort of exploits you can use in the game to get around from. Uh, uh, it's to do with some kind of. Um, uh, integer overflow bug or something. It allows you to uh, travel ridiculous distances because of a a, a distance bug. There's uh, some files and things. There's uh, save games. These these are quite cool. You can load up uh, for the PC and even Amiga versions down here. Uh, so you can mess about with some other people's save games. Uh, yeah, I could go through this whole thing, but you get the idea. There's some guides here on combat and uh, missions, uh, police, ships. Uh, yeah, and there's these... I don't know where these images come from. I don't know if they're made by the author, but they're very cool. Um, yeah, so... Uh, there's also a bunch of... Yeah, there's tons, there's tons of information here. Um, so if you want to get some background uh, information or some... Uh, uh, inch, uh, or some useful information uh, out of this uh, for, for about this game, then this is uh, a great site to look at. Another site I've used quite often is uh, Frontier Astro, which has some good guides and lots of info about the Elite universe and all manner of things. It's got some stuff about the original Elite, which I never actually played very much. But uh, there's uh, there's a version called Elite, which is like a uh, you know a modern ver modern remake that runs on modern systems. There's all these different versions. There's lots of technical information here. There's some guides how to run things. This uh, section here uh, is about um, Geo Frontier, and you can get a look at that. And it's there's some guides here. So if you want to run any of these, uh, there's First Encounters D3D. You can s see some of these some of these amazing looking new ships. Um, it looks like I was running an old version based on this. Uh, so yeah, you should probably check out this site for an actual uh, guide. This is FF. D3D AJ. Okay. Well, yeah. Be sure to check that out. Uh, as, you, as you can see, there's a lot of useful information out here. Uh, there's also this. Uh, there's some fan fiction. There's uh, there's uh, hex editing stuff. Winamp skins. Tons of stuff. There's even a little section on Elite Dangerous here, which is pretty cool. Um, yeah. So that's a great site to uh, to check out. There's also some astronomy stuff too, which is awesome. Uh, yeah. So yeah, um, Elite Dangerous comes out today on release of this video. So I will be playing this later. I'll be doing some recordings of it. And uh, I guess we'll see how it stands up to the test of uh, my expectations after 20 years. So, there we have it. That was the last episode of Frontier Fundamentals. And it was really great uh, to be able to do this series and to revisit this game another time. I'm sure I'll play it again one day. Um, and I hope that I manage to bring it uh, wonder to, to 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 somebody out there. And, I, you know, I, I, a lot of people have said that they've liked this series and uh, have found Frontier through this series and I'm very glad, gratified about that. And, uh, yeah, it's, it's, uh, it's a game that's shaped my expectations of games and uh, what I believe was possible through a game, the, the exploration and, the, and the, the openness and the freedom, it's amazing. And 
now we get to see uh, what happens 20 years hence when uh, uh, we finally have the technology to perhaps fulfill uh, the high the, the high expectations and dreams of uh, David Brabham's view of the frontier. So this was Frontier Fundamentals. Thank you for watching and I'll see you out there.